uh, was named head coach here. And I'm curious, what was kind of sort of the, the vision and what did he pitch you on? And, and now a couple of years later, like, how has how that kind of matched the reality of what things are? What he said, I mean, what he, gave, what he pitched to me was what's happening right now. Perfect. <laughs> What do you see from Illinois' defense in their front seven specifically? Um, I mean, I think they're a really great group. Um, pretty experienced, play with a lot of pride for their school, and you know, I think there'll be a great challenge for us. You see from 17, Hackus specifically, because he's a disruptive guy off the edge. Of yeah, see quite a bit. I think he's one of the better guys that we're going to see all year, um, and I think he's a very versatile. Kind of does everything for the defense, and one of their most active guys for sure. What's allowed him to have success specifically on pass downs? Oh, definitely a speed, um, just take, taking advantage of what's given to him. What's made them successful defensively at the end of the quarter? It seems like they have a lot of pressures on the sides. Um, I mean, they're, they're really just very active rushers, never give up. So, I mean, I feel like we're just going to have to out-compete and take, take care of business. What's been your process of growing as a, a run blocker? Because I know when the team out west thing we did a couple weeks ago, we talked about like one of the go-to plays was running behind you to the left. Like, yeah. Obviously, that speaks to your growth there. What's kind of been the process of getting to that point where you can be a focal point there? Um, just, I mean, keep keep my feet in the ground, shooting my hands, you know what I mean? Um, keep my head up, uh, not diving into stuff, and just trying to, you know, it's, you got this little bit of balance to it. Strength, too? Um, I mean, when you take advantage of how they how they play it, too. Um, but, yeah, I guess. I'm not saying, really, really love, don't get me right, so, yeah. you know. When you guys have gone ones on ones in practice, what's it like going up against your guys' defensive line? Like, how, how would you describe them to somebody else? Um, I don't think there's a better front in the in the nation, in my opinion. Um, but that's that's why I mean that's why I feel like we've gotten so so much better over the over the year because like when you when you go against everybody that we go against on defense every day, it's like you know. It's, it, tends to transfer into the game. So. Is it their size, their physicality, is it technique? Or? I mean, when you have really big, fast people running at you all day, I mean, that's <laughs> it definitely makes you better because that's what you're going to end up seeing on Saturday. So, Mateo's had to step into maybe a, a bit of a different role with Jordan. Now. That yeah. probably doesn't come as a surprise based upon what you'd seen in practice, but can you speak to just his growth and maturity to, as a sophomore to be in this position? You kind of went through the same thing last year. Yeah. Um, Tales, tales that do, man. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I don't. There's no. There's probably nobody I've like seen come in and just work the way he works. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, like, obviously, there's people that work all around. But for him to be more like a smaller ed edge guy that they talk about, and then he moves inside, does work on the inside. Like he can play anywhere, anywhere you want him. He's gonna cause havoc. So, you know what I mean? And then there's not a lot of dudes at his size with his speed and his ability that can that really does what he does. Yo. Rashad so successful you know, being inserted into the starting lineup midway through the year. Yeah. Just what's, how's that click so well for him? I mean, he's an experienced guy. You know, he's played a lot he's played a lot of ball. Um, so I think once he finally got his shot, like it made him more confident and he's on it he's rolling now, so and how did that help just the overall unit? Click as well because shortly after that, yeah. guys seem to play consistently better. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel like uh, because of how much we switch groups through camp, um, like you get you get the ten, you get a uh, you get a. There's a way of working with everybody, you know what I mean? Especially with how much we switch up groups during camp. So now it's like it's like all right, I, we work together for maybe a week or two during camp. So it's like back to the back to the basics. The, the offense always gets so much of kind of the shine. Does it mean anything to you guys when the defense is able to get a shutout like last week? It's beautiful. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I mean, I wouldn't, was, there's always pressure when you go out on the field, but there's no pressure that, like, you have to score on this drive. You know what I mean? Um, but, I mean, they, they, put on, they put on the show, and I hope they can, uh, can continue that. Being on a team like this, and every time you do a film, it's a super tactical approach. Are you ever just able? Are you ever able to just watch football for fun? Or is there always a tactical mindset? Um, I mean, I guess Sundays for sure. <laughs> Sundays, I, 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 I wouldn't say I watch for fun though. Like even then, when I go and watch on Sundays, I'm like, oh, we run that, or that's what our defense does. You know what I mean? So it's like you're always kind of aware of it when you watch so much. So. All right, thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh.